Okay, so this is um, Jasmine again, and I want to show you a little bit about how to um, unwrap um, an item uh, and get it ready to do textures. Um, so we have a shoe here, and it's got it's got some interesting parts. It's not gonna it's not gonna be the easiest to unwrap. Um, so I think it's a real good one to show you. Um, a lot of times, what I do. Um, is I'll separate my mesh off because um, when you've got all these pieces together like this it can be kind of tricky um, to uh, to unwrap it so a lot of times so I'm selecting the whole thing and then I want mesh and then I'm just gonna go to separate and we're gonna hope it cooperates and, and what this will just do is that I can just kind of unwrap each individual part here and then what I do when I get done, I'll put them all back together and then hit layout. Okay, so we're going to start with a poly surface one. We're going to actually, we're, what we're going to do is we're going to go to display, hide, all. Okay, and we're going to go to poly surface one, display, show, show selection. Okay, dokie. So here's the, the, the heel. We'll do that one first. So what, what you want to do is when, when you're unwrapping a thing, you kind of want to think, okay, how can I get this to lay flat? Um, that's that's the whole goal of with an unwrap. Um, so we go looking for um, for seams. Okay, one of the things I do a lot of times, because so, sometimes um, UVs can be cantankerous, and so what I'll do to start is I'll do a UV automatic and enter and. That, it's just kind of gotten into habit of, that I do, and what it does is if there's like some sort of um, oopsie daisy, okay, UV editor, okay. So if there's an issue, um, sometimes it'll just kind of fix it. It's kind of hard to explain, but I've just noticed if I do that, I, I run into less <laughs> issues later. Okay, so I've done an automatic unwrap, but you can see that's kind of crap. And I mean, yeah, if you're using substance, it'd probably be fine, but it's just kind of a messy UV. Um, and you know, in some things, if people aren't gonna be there and seeing it and being up on it, then who cares, have a messy UV, just get the textures on there, get her done and get out, right? Um, but so what we're gonna do is we're gonna sew this back together and now it's a hot mess again. But um, so now we're going to go through and we're going to cut. So what we're gonna do is that we're going to go to edge mode and we're going to go along here and we're going to select these edges because the whole goal is to get it to lay flat. So on this heel, I'm going to go around here. And now listen, I think I've said this a couple of times before. I am self-taught. I don't know everything, obviously. And a lot of times, you know, if you, you may have a better uh, way of doing it, and that's great. You can do that. This is just what works for me. Okay. So for me, I think this is probably gonna give us a good unwrap. The only thing is, is trying to figure out where to put the, uh, the last crease or whatever um, seam. Um, and I know this sounds kind of counterintuitive, but like because it's kind of under more so than the heel, I think I'm actually gonna put that seam up here at the toe. Um, I don't know, maybe I should put it at the back, but I think we're gonna go, actually, where the other one that's kind of hidden is here in the inner aspect arch. This might be a good place to cut it. Okay, so then we're going to um, cut this, and then after you cut it, I go through, I select all my faces, and then I go here and I unfold. Okay, and you can see that's kind of a mess still, right? And this is really long, we may wanna cut it again, right? Um, and then what we're gonna do here is we're gonna do layout. Okay, still kind of not great. So see how these are all kind of like crooked? Um, we're gonna orient those and then we're gonna do layout. I may cut this again on the other side actually. I, I just, I don't really uh, like that, how that is coming out. So we're gonna do another cut maybe here and hope it's like far enough under the foot that no one notices too much. Okay, and so now we're going to unfold, orient shells, and lay out again. And eh, that's a little bit better. Okay, so that's the heel. Um, so that's the first part. And so I don't want that in my way, so I'm going to go display, hide, hide selection, or you can also do control H. And we're going to now look at this one. Okay, so this is the main part of the shoe. Like I said again, I I like to do this little method and I don't even know what's completely um, 
necessary, but I worked at this um, one place and there was some sort of like incompatibility with some of the softwares and when I would bring in things that had made in Cinema 4D or Blender into Maya, it just kind of got stupid all of a sudden. So I just started doing this automatic and then sewing it and re unwrapping it and it seems like it would do better. So like you said, so or like I said, so that's the automatic. This just looks horrible, right? We don't want that. So, okay, so now we're gonna go into edge mode again. And we're gonna have to figure out where to cut this one up. This one's a little bit more tricky, right? So, ugh, trying to figure out where to put seams here that it won't look like poo is gonna be a little bit harder. Um, I don't know that there is any perfect answer here. I think there's just an answer, right? Um, I'm gonna put it towards the interior, I think, aspect, just because I think it's the least likely to look like really bad. And then I'm probably going to put it on this edge because probably just the fact that there's shadows there will help hide it. All right, and we're going to cut that. Let's just see what happens when we unfold that. So, and like I said, all self-taught. Oh, goodness. See, now you can see this doesn't look too bad. Um, that we missed. And you, you can go through one of two ways. You can cut it here or, you know, what may be easier is just pull in your UV here. And I'm, you know, and it's better to have two monitors and things. I'm just trying to get this where I can film all of this on one thing. Um, so we're working all on one screen. So my uh, workspace is kind of small and junk, junked up. Okay. So what we want to cut here too, because we we don't we don't want that to be bound like that because it's going to distort things. Okay. So here we go again, and and you can select all the faces here or there. Unfold, orient shells, and lay out again. Um, you know, not the best, best, best ever, but um, I can I can live with that. Uh, probably could think it through a little bit more. Maybe put a different place to put that back seam. Maybe it should have been in the middle back. Let's do that. So how would I sew that? So we're gonna sew this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go here. We're going to sew that and we're going to move the seam to here. And yeah, like I said, we're going to run into that same thing again, but it's going to be with uh, it not cutting all the way across. But it's, I think it'll be better to um, cut it here. And with things like shoes, there's just absolutely no perfect way to do anything, if you ask me. Or just, you know, the lesser of the evils. <laughs> okay. And then we go layout. Oopsie daisy. Okay. Let's do layout again. Okay. There's the next part. Okay. So I'm going to do this, this bit kind of fast um, because um, the rest of it's pretty monotonous and uh, you just go through um, marking seams and unfolding but I want you to be able to slow it down if you want to to see it all and um, if not we can just jump ahead Okay, so after you get all of the um, UV done, you do. I usually combine the mesh again and then hit layout. So you could leave the UV the other way, or, or you, you you can use the the tools to kind of manipulate it around. It's it's completely up to you, um, and there's no right or wrong answer. The main thing is that you just have enough padding in here, because the way I texture and substance, I use um, masks, black masks, and I have everything set to one material. I use black masks to 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 do um, different parts with, um, and then I use UV chunk fill. 
Um, I can walk you through all that. Um, and the and that makes like having like your UV in such an order like not a huge big deal. The main thing is to have enough padding, and and that that is the thing, especially if you're going to Unreal Engine, um, because the way the lighting works there, it's just kind of quirky. And if you don't have enough padding on your UV, it can be kind of persnickety. Um, and then also, you know, the more organized and the more evenly distributed you have your UV islands, like technically, this is probably a little bit not even. Um, but I didn't see any major uh, shading issues, but technically this should be slightly over on all of these and um, on my actual model. Um, but like I said, it wasn't causing any major issues. Um, and it, it's gonna, it's on the other piece, you can't see it. It's also underneath the shoe, so it really doesn't matter, does it? It's underneath the sole. Okay, and if you wanted to, you could delete some of these polygons in here if you really needed the extra space um, um, for pop you know if you need less polygons we're not in too bad a shape on the shoe we're only at um, tries at 32 10 and we get 8,000 for shoes so I'm good I'm good um, so I'm not gonna worry about it too much okay so the next thing I want to do is kind of show you how I texture in substance okay so we'll see you then